Hey there guys, welcome to Anthony Reviews, where Anthony reviews. If you're a character-specific collector like me, eventually you may find yourself looking for some variety. A uniform look on the shelf can look really nice, but it can be a bit boring at times. As a collector of Starscream, he's been able to change it up every now and then, but I still look for oddities or even technicalities to add to the shelf. Recently, Takara has provided me with the perfect example of what I'm talking about. Over in Japan, Takara has released a two-pack of Transformers figures paying homage to the 90s Transformers cartoon, Beast Wars. For those who are unaware, the CGI animated cartoon was about Transformers from the future sent to the past in the same continuity of the G1 cartoon. While it wasn't a show that hammered in that continuity into the fans' heads every episode, it did have its connections, one of which was the ghost of Starscream. After Starscream was killed in the 1986 Transformers the movie, Starscream returned as a ghost. Through sci-fi shenanigans, his undead spark made its way to the Predacons, possessing the character known as Waspinator. As a Starscream collector, I've always wanted representation of this very specific moment in Starscream's history. Sure, they make ghost Starscreams from time to time, and there is a fair share of Waspinator figures, but now I have figures specifically designed to be from this moment in Transformers lore. These two figures are technically not new to Transformers fans, with both of them being reuses of previous ones. Starscream is the Earthrise figure, although obviously translucent this time, and Waspinator is even less different from his Kingdom counterpart, with him just having a different color scheme. Let's take a look at Waspinator. He's a fairly accurate plastic version of the character we saw in the show. All the wonderful mechanical bug details look good here. The organic look of his wings and even the eyes are well done and go nicely with the very harsh ridges of robotic edges all over him. His color scheme is certainly darker than his original Kingdom counterpart, but I assume that's to evoke the sort of nighttime setting of the episode. The green plastic has somewhat of a shiny appearance and the gold does give it that reflective metal feel that the cartoon had. And translucent plastic is always a plus, especially if it's purple. While I do prefer the more bold and toyetic colors of the original, this one does look nice and different enough to give it that sort of faux premium feel. I must admit he's a bit awkward to handle. His insect appendages do sort of just stick out from his arms and legs. The arms aren't too much of a problem, but the legs certainly feel cumbersome. Between the insect legs and the sort of antenna coming off of the bug head, he does have a lot of round sticks protruding from his body. While the bug legs are a bit distracting, his articulation is still pretty nice, and has plenty of movement in the limbs. He even has a waist swivel, and you do get some nice sort of expression out of the head. Honestly, no real complaints in this department. In terms of accessories, he does come with one. He's got a gun that is part of his butt. It's fine, it doesn't really look like a gun to me, but it does look like a stinger, and so, in a way, it still is a weapon. It's obviously nice for storage as well, because it fits in and you can barely tell that it detaches. Oh, I almost forgot, he does come with a character card here but it is in Japanese, so I can't read it. It looks nice enough. Let's talk about the ghost in the bug machine with Starscream. As stated, this is a complete reuse of the Earthrise figure from 2020. This figure stands out by being translucent, though. Well, mostly translucent, that is. There are a few parts of his body that are sadly just regular opaque plastic. Now, I'm not a toy designer, but if I had to assume, this was made to avoid easily breakable parts. Yes, translucent plastic is far more prone to breaking than standard plastic, so I get wanting to address this issue head-on instead of dealing with upset customers later. Do I wish this thing was 100% see-through? Oh yeah, of course. Does he still look good? I think so. The red pieces, like on his torso, give him a nice candy look, which I love. The large clear wings also look really nice and hide the sort of solid parts in his arms. The facial expression is one we've seen before, one of... Agony, maybe? Is he screaming a battle cry? I mean, he's a ghost, so imagining him in this sort of eternal pain isn't exactly a stretch. It's a choice that makes enough sense. After all that said, I should note that he doesn't really appear like this in the show. He's mostly like a little glowing ball, and for the rest of that he's either normal looking or possessing Waspinator himself. So does this figure actually make any sense to come with this? And uh, who cares. If you've handled any of the many versions of this mold, you will know whether you like it or not. For me, I have no real problems with it. Articulation is nice enough in the limbs, and you do get a little movement in the wings, which does provide some nice expressions. In terms of accessories, though, it is just his null race. He doesn't come with anything special, so once again, it's just that card, which I can't read. For their alt modes, they are what you'd expect. Starscream transforms into a jet, and Waspinator into a, well, a wasp. 
Waspinator is a nice looking bulbous bug, and his wings are on full display here. He's a very adorable bad guy, and I love him for that. Starscream's translucent beauty really shines here, honestly. A lot of opaque pieces are sort of tucked into the bulk of the ship, so most of what you're seeing here is that pretty clear plastic. Part of me wouldn't mind displaying him like this, despite the fact that I don't think he ever shows up in vehicle mode in any kind of ghost form. Kinda weird. This pack is not a must-have, but for someone like me, it certainly is. It's a cool, unique item to represent a moment in Transformers that tied the 90s directly to the events of the 80s. As someone who likes to collect Starscream, it's honestly really cool to have such an iconic moment on the shelf. Air Commander Starscream of the Decepticon Battle Fleet is here, and he comes with a nice Waspinator too. All in all, I'm pretty happy with that. This video is brought to you in part by Hobby Link Japan. If you're a fan of things like Super Sentai or just Japanese media in general, why don't you check out Hobby Link Japan? They've got figures, statues, and a whole horde of different kind of collectibles. Click the link down in the description below to check out Hobby Link Japan today. Thank you guys so much for checking out my review of the Takara Tomy Ghost Starscream and Waspinator 2 pack. While I do like this pack, I don't think it's for everyone, but for fans of Starscream like me, I do think it's a pretty cool, unique item. If you like this video, feel free to check out some of my other videos. I do other Transformers videos, I've done other videos on Ghost Starscream as well, so you may like that if you're a fan of this one. I'll go ahead and leave my socials down in the description below, and I guess that is, uh, you know, pretty much it. So once again, thank you guys so much for watching. Feel free to subscribe for future videos, and take care.